What's up guys? So I was watching Aladdin and I was thinking, you know what? It would be cool to do a falling surprise of the lamp opening to something and something coming out of it. So here it is. So we have the lamp right here and we are going to open it like this and ta-da! <laughs> We have Aladdin and Jasmine flying on this magic carpet and the genie coming out of the lamp. It's a very cool folding surprise drawing to learn and if you want to know how to do it, just keep watching this video and I will show you step by step how to do it. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this cardboard and put it under my paper. You do this when you do the folding surprise drawings on a sketchbook so you don't mess up the other pages. After this, you're going to grab this part and fold it in half like this. And you're going to grab the part that you just fold and fold it in the opposite direction like this. Notice that my sketchbook is upside down because when I open, I unfold like this, which is up. Now, you don't have to do it on a sketchbook. You can do it on any regular piece of paper. Okay, once we have our paper ready, we're going to start by drawing uh, basically this part of the lamp. And the reason we are starting in this part and not in the middle like always is because we want to make sure that the lamp is going to fit in the paper. So after we do this, we draw the top and uh, we basically are going to do the outline of the lamp. Basically, the top part of the lamp is what we are going to unfold up. So you want to draw this on the top part of the folding surprise drawing. We're going to draw a line like this, which is going to be on the on the first half where we fold it. And the second line that we are drawing is going to be on the bottom part. So basically, they are not on the same side. You got to make sure that is uh, one line is up and the other one is at the bottom. And then we're gonna draw. We're gonna draw the uh, I don't know what you call it, the ear of the of the lamp, and make sure you don't cross the line up, so that way it doesn't look weird when you open it. It's not gonna make any sense. And once we do this, we are basically going to do the bottom part of the lamp. So we just draw a curvy line like this, and then we are going to draw the base, which is. Like this, we're gonna do a few details. Um, kinda like make it look like the cartoon a little bit. And we're just gonna draw these zigzag lines right here. Now we are going to go back again to the top and we are going to draw this part, which I don't know what it is. I guess it's just decoration for the lamp. <laughs> and we're gonna put more details, another uh, zigzag line right here which is part of the design of the lamp and that's basically it now what we do is open our paper but actually before we do this we have to draw a line with a pencil uh, you cannot cross this line anything that you draw below this line will show when you fold the drawing so after we do this we are going to basically finish the top part and you want to draw this below the folded line so it doesn't show anything when we fold it. And yep, we are basically going to do the same. We are going to extend this part right here at the bottom. And we are going to draw another line right here, uh, which is basically going to be the inside of the lamp. But you got to be careful that nothing shows. So when you fold the drawing, it doesn't show anything. Okay, so now we are going to start drawing the characters. We're gonna start uh, with the genie, which is holding the top part of the lamp. So we are going to start drawing the hand. Uh, this was actually tricky though, because I had to figure out a way to make them all fit in the center of the page. We're gonna draw the hair, and you gotta make sure you don't cross that line. That line is basically the line that is marked from when we fold the drawing. So you, wa you wanna make sure you don't cross that line. And it's going to be the same at the bottom. So we're going to draw the magic carpet, uh, which is an important part. You don't want to make it too big because you are going to need the space for Aladdin and Jasmine. So you want to make it uh, big enough to tell that is the magic carpet. But at the same time, you don't want to make it too big because you need to make sure that you have enough space for Aladdin and Jasmine. I'm going to try to do as much detail as possible 
but unfortunately I won't be able to do all the details that the magic carpet has because I just don't have the space, these drawings are too small. Maybe if you do it on a bigger piece of paper you can try to do all the details, but unfortunately I can't. Okay, so to draw Aladdin, you can start drawing the stick figures first, and I recommend this. Start drawing the circle of the head and then uh, the stick figure of where everything would go, so you know, uh, so you basically calculate where everything will go and you make sure that everything is going to fit. I had to do this because, like I said, it took me a while to figure out how to make them small enough in order for them to fit in the center of the page and at the same time not coming out of those of those lines that will basically mess up the folding surprise paper also guys one of the things that i recommend is try to keep it simple i know that you might try to make them look as much as possible like aladdin and jasmine but try to keep it simple we don't have enough space to do a lot of details on the face unfortunately unless you use a bigger paper which i recommend if you want uh, then you might be able to, to do more details on the face and everything. But if you're doing it on a piece of paper the size of this uh, sketchbook, which is like 5x7, uh, something like that. I don't even know what size this paper is. <laughs> but yeah, this was a little tricky. So I also recommend uh, do everything with pencil first and try not to to put a lot of pressure basically on the pencil in case you have to erase which most likely you will have to erase a few times uh, doing this drawing so try not to mark it or try not to put too much pressure on the pencil because you know the pencil might get stressed out and say I don't want to do this anymore <laughs> no I'm just kidding no try not to put too much pressure because when you try to erase later it's gonna show marks and you don't want you don't want to leave marks in there <laughs> okay so for jasmine also uh she is going to be basically sitting down that gives us more space for the genie and aladdin so everything doesn't look too smashed and yeah basically all you gotta do is from the waist up for jasmine and we're gonna do the hair right here and that's it this is the arm you don't have to draw her hands which is good because drawing hands could be very tricky sometimes and then we go with the genie and for the genie he has a big head so uh, the good thing about the genie is that he doesn't really have legs right so this is like this makes our job very easy because all we have to focus is basically on the face the arms are easy to do and you don't have to worry about drawing uh, legs because he doesn't have any legs also guys if you think that i am going too fast i do apologize i try to keep my videos like a 10 minute long or somewhere around there so if you think i'm going too fast uh just pause the video and catch up that's fine um but yeah Oh, one of the things that I do have to mention, you gotta be careful not to cross this line. This is basically the part where the genie is kind of like bending, coming out of the lamp or something. So yeah, be careful not to cross that line. Okay, so this is what your sketching is supposed to look like. We gotta make sure that there is no lines uh, showing or anything that might mess up this drawing. Everything looks good so far. So yep. And now that we make sure that everything looks good, we are going to color it. <laughs> My favorite part, like always. All right, let's clean these markers. Well, let's move them out of the way. And yep, let's go to the coloring part.
okay guys so this is the final look this is what it looks like i don't know if you can tell but i was actually able to do some details on this coloring and that's because i used the very ultra fine point sharpies to color this for the tiny spaces and i was able to do details on the face also some details right here on the magic carpet i don't know if you can see them but yes, I'm actually very, very happy how everything came out except that finger. This finger looks weird. I didn't have space. <laughs> but anyways, let's run a little test and make sure everything looks perfect. So we open the lap and bam! There you go, guys. We have a awesome falling surprise drawing of Aladdin, Jasmine and the genie coming out of the lamp. My daughter also made a falling surprise drawing and she wants to show you guys. So let's watch it. Okay, show it. Okay, so I'm going to do it. So that was my daughter's falling surprise drawing. I hope you like it. As you can tell, she's getting my coloring skills, coloring outside the line just like I do. <laughs> but anyways, if you guys enjoy this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow me on social media. Thank you guys so much and have a great day.